Hello everyone, it's my DP14, welcome to a brand new video, so today we're back with the DP14 show. And for anyone that doesn't know the DP14 show, for all of you, you new kids, it's basically a show where I have a bunch of sections and we go for it all. However, each show is kind of focused around one thing. This week, it's obviously the 250 subscriber Q&A. Thank you guys so much. We always start off with a sponsor. And today's sponsor is actually Callum's Corner. <laughs> Without him, we probably wouldn't be making this video right now. He's not directly done anything himself, but just his whole presence and the fact that he exists in this world is good enough for me. Up with the corner, Ian Moore in the mud. That's all I got to say. So, the next- Yeah. Yeah. Breaking news. DP14 has hit 250 subscribers. You know what? No. This is the first opportunity I've had to make this video. And we're on 283. I hit 250 yesterday. Yesterday. Mental. I was on 120 like a, a week ago. A week ago. What? <laughs> We've over doubled. Not only have I smashed the subscriber goal for the year. We've already smashed the one video goal for the year. I wanted one video to at least hit 2,000 or a couple of thousand. 2,950. Ladies and gentlemen. Gonna take over the things you can do when you turn 16. I cannot believe this. 212 like this is unreal, ladies and gentlemen. This is... Is unreal. I did not expect this. I said it because it's something I wanted, but I did not expect it. Oh my god! <laughs> Finally, for breaking news, back when I did my 100 sub q and A, I I had a little plan. I planned to do an 8 days of DP14. I think it lasts 2 days. It didn't do well, and it just kind of stressed me out, and I didn't do it. However, unintentionally, this is the 8th video I've done in a row. 12 videos in 13 days! I just want to thank you guys so much for everything. Just checking out my videos, even if you just click off straight away, is is more than enough and you guys have been you guys have been watching the videos all the way through you've been liking i've been having so many comments so much stuff to reply to and it's incredible it's so overwhelmed it's unreal honestly to a lot of people this 250 subscribers might not seem like much a couple of thousand views might not seem like much but to me i've been doing this for i think it'll be five years in april slash may obviously i've taken a lot of breaks and i haven't really taken it seriously but that's unreal to suddenly have this kind of growth after that long of being on here and spending this much time editing and whatnot it's unreal and i just want to say this might well be the eighth day of dp14 that doesn't mean i'm slowing down i have absolutely no intention of stopping posting videos i plan to post daily uploads for as long as i want to as long as i feel good about it and i still feel incredible and i want to up myself every single time I'm changing the year goal to a thousand subs. 30k channel views and a video to hit 10k. <laughs> oh, it's possible. You never know. But now, what you're all really here for, the Q&A. So I got a lot of questions. And this time it was actually from a lot of different people rather than just the same couple of people. So we got some banging questions. I I, I, I tell you what, we'll, we'll do an easy one. C-Dog himself has asked, when can I expect another C-Dog diss track? C-Dog diss track... I love. It doesn't have the pull that a lot of stuff does. 50 likes and I'll do a diss track on whoever you guys want me to do a diss track on. I'll, I'll, I'll send for anyone, if I'm honest. I, I, I love the diss tracks. I'll get C-Dog involved. We love to see it. Let me also clarify real quick that I will not be making a diss track on Callum's Corner. I have too much respect for the man. You guys, you guys, you guys like the C-Dog. <laughs> How many times a day is C-Dog currently laying pipe? We're in lockdown at the moment, so diddly squat. I don't know if I'm meant to be keeping these anonymous or what, but... <laughs> Kamaru not found. Is your cock poggers? Yes. Now, I did get a question from a good friend, Ellie Jean, who I did edit a video for last year, popping off in the, the educational scene. And she goes, why did you keep your YouTube channel a secret from your friend for so long? <laughs> now, you see, my channel back then was, as, as the kids would say, wank. And I knew that. It was just my, it felt like my thing. I don't know. I was probably a bit, I was probably a bit scared to tell anyone because I thought, you know, I was, I was scared of what people say. Now I could not care. Like, I'll tell whoever. <laughs> Speaking of Ellie Jade, her boyfriend, who's been on a few videos, did send me a question. Now, instead of reading out his question, I would like to just show you this clip. I've had this clip for probably a year now. This was before COVID last year. So I just, I just want to play you this real quick clip. <laughs> Enjoy. This is a DP14 video. <laughs> okay. And the thing you need to know about a DP14 video and the DP14 fucking channel is at first, this shit. Alright? They got fucking. They got. They, they always have brownies. Fucking United Kingdom gang, you with me? <clears throat> me. A dog. I'm lit. 
right? Omelette, on the tank. <coughs> I think I should be a regular section on the DP14 channel. I'm handsome. I'm tall. And we're gonna be talking some real shit. When did you last cry? What? <laughs> what do you mean? If I'm being very honest, it was probably the first time I saw Ian Moore. Just brought me to tears, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm gonna leave it with the Instagram questions for now. I love the Instagram questions. <laughs> Sometimes the grab boys pull out big bangers. And if, if you know what that means, you, you've been here a while. When will you stop making videos with Yanks? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Wh why? Luckily enough for you, my friend, uh, tomorrow's video is actually a collab with one of the Yanks, so... I'm gonna embarrass him with my family. Chris Chan or a pint of Chang? I love the Chris Chan. I love the Chris Chan, but a pint of Chang. A pint of Chang just hits different. It just hits different. What would I do about the Chris Chan? Okay, listen, I love the Chris Chan, but a pint of Chang would go down horrendously good right now. Oh my god, just thinking about it, it makes my mouth water. And finally, the most raucous of all the questions. Ian Moore and Callum's Corner. Gotta let one shag your wife. <laughs> Gets better. <laughs> you have to take the other. She takes one. You take one. <laughs> Oh, uh, she's gonna have to have Ian Moore. I I hate to say it. I I'm sorry to anyone who's watching this that you know it knows about either of these two. It's a sickening question, but you know it's Q and A. I got our answer. Either way, the answer's bad. Okay, just leave me alone. That's the Q and A. That's what you get for now. You know, as as we're as we're carrying on, I just wanna I just wanna say for the future, if you guys have any any video ideas. Drop them in the comments below. Tweet them to me. You know what? I need to plug my Twitter. At DP underscore underscore 14. That's where I post the most just stuff outside of YouTube. Go check it out. Follow it. Yes. That's all of the question stuff. That's all of the 250 subscriber stuff out of the way. Time to the actual DP14 content. Although I know we haven't got much time. So I will hurry. Don't worry. Sea Dog Watch. Sea Dog Watch. Okay. So recently, Sea Dog has moved. And in fact, we did a video together. Which actually has 300 views. Which is... A bit mad. We're gonna be doing another one next week. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another. Hello, Sea Dog. Today, why are you looking so tired? Quick one, because I'm incredibly tired. Why? It's New Year's Eve, and I've got plans tonight. Yep, New Year's Eve. I'm not going out or anything, and I'm not getting drunk. No. Woo! Oh, I'm doing bits. Won't go into details, but yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> why is everything that Sea Dog says so? Like sinister and so <laughs> see, see. I've just had work today. Yeah, I've changed jobs. Woo! I'll make another update video on that in the future. So you know, we're still waiting for yeah. your videos. Oh yeah, I haven't changed my PC setup, have I? No, you haven't, Cedo. No, I haven't. <laughs> so that's not what going on here. Oh god, it's, yes, I'll I'm kill him on my phone. I'm so two monitors right here on a bracket arm, which means I've got more space on the bottom there. I mean, I don't have standard, they look a bit nicer. You fit your Maltesers, see, dog, you cheeky boy. I've got Alexa, which is off at the minute, so, you know, <laughs> they're doing that. God damn it. I've got Blue Yeti microphone, which... See, dog's got a better microphone than me. I've made it so it swivels out here. Look at this! Look at this dude! Which is quite nice, I set it all up. What do you mean? And I would do this, I could film this on my PC, but I'm just like... Yeah, I just... What? I've set it on my wrong? phone, I don't know why. What's yeah, I don't know. See, no, what's, 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 what's wrong? Bits, like, Jesus Christ. See, he's been, on the, he's been on the drink. He loves it. This is the only thing that's down here. My plan is to then get my TV on the wall there, because I'm about, currently want my PS4 hooked into this screen right here. And I've got a bi directional. This is big brain time. HDMI splitter thing. Basically, I can, I've got my PC, which is down there, and my PS4, which is just there. Plug the star direct, directional thing. Push that what's up. happening? <laughs> Press my button, which I use for my foot. What? The same goes to change the monitor on this screen. So, my PS4 is off at the minute. What? Yeah. Just... I don't know what I just watched. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, I'm not gonna... I've just realised for new people, this is Sea Dog, by the way. Beat Sea Dog. <laughs> God damn it, I'm, I'm terrible at this. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'll link his video in the description. I'm not gonna watch anymore. You guys should go check it out, because... Sea Dog started editing his videos! But well done on the video, Sea Dog. I want you to upload for once, please. Meme of the week! Meme of the week! New tab. Meme. Images. Scroll yourself down. Click on a random one. I'm not a regular mum. I'm a cool mum. Hell yeah! Let's go! Meme of the week might be one of my favourite sections. It's so bad, it's great. We're gonna be really quick with these last two segments. Primate party. <laughs> we are today talking about 
the Alkari. I know, they sound like a weird alien people. They're found in the Amazon. And look at them. What is that? <laughs> I don't I don't understand. So obviously they're bald with red faces. They have very little fat in their face as well, which is why it seems so skull-like. Terrifying creatures with the long hair on the bodies, completely bald heads. I don't understand them. The redder the face, the more healthy. Evolution suggests that they're, they're only gonna get redder. That's terrifying. You know what's more terrifying? They can jump six meters. You know how far six meters is? Not only that, they travel in groups of around a hundred. Just imagine 100 of these monstrosities swinging through the trees, jumping six meters at a time, coming straight at you. That's enough of Primate Bye. <laughs> History of the week! Uh, we're, again, we're gonna be doing a, a, a little, little, little quickie, you know, you know, you know, you, you know how it is. I just, I just wanna talk to you about a couple of the plots against Fidel Castro. Now, there is presumably over 600 plots against his life. That's, you, you gotta respect the man. Okay, he was leader of Cuba during the Cold War and after. He's only just died in 2016. Fair play to the man, he lived 90 years old. He loves it. But in terms of some of the plots against his life, I just wanted to, you know, just, just list them off because they're quite fun. Obviously, there's the famous one, the exploding cigar, where the American government filled a cigar with gunpowder and didn't explode in his mouth. No one knows what happened to it. They also hired some of the most wanted people in their own country to try and kill him. Turns out, even they chickened out. So that really tells you something about him. He is a madman and it's wild. He also loves scuba diving. So they painted some explosives to look like seashells so he might go past them or pick them up turns out they exploded 40 minutes after he left the beach he's either really lucky he's really lucky especially with that they poisoned a scuba suit with a fungus which would eat his flesh basically that's horrific like all good james bond villains they gave him a poison pen there was a tiny little hypodermic needle in it which he wouldn't have even noticed prick his finger finally in terms of the plot against his life the US government once tried to pay one of his lovers to kill him. He found out about this and instead of, you know, kicking her out, he gave her his gun and asked her to shoot him because he said she didn't have the nerve. You know what she did? She didn't shoot him because she didn't have the nerve. What? <laughs> that just goes to show that this man is a complete animal. And I was about to say he gets the DP14 stamp of approval, but... He really doesn't. <laughs> Apart from this, he wasn't a very nice man, if I'm honest. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll be ready to be 14. Seeing us out today is Kamal Not Found for the Smooth Walk. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys subscribe, like. Thank you guys for the support. It means the world to me. Next Q&A at 500 subs, I suppose. <laughs> See ya. I got an army inside my phone. But I can probably take it as out alone. Put my mask on, no, I ain't in the zone. Snap, crackle, pop, that's the sound of bones. If